So now let's touch on the arc curve. To make this easier again, I'm going to select my top viewport and just go in here and press Maximize. Here's my arc tool. I need to start with the center, then the first point or start. I pan down a little bit by holding down my right mouse button and there I'll finish it. And As you can see the guides disappear and I'm left with the arc curve. Let's take a look at some of our other tools here. I'm going to delete that. Start end point on arc or start point on arc end. There are different ways to create the arc. By left clicking on that second tool as you can see I'm creating more of an arch type of arc that's going to be equal or symmetrical on either side. So that can be very useful. If I left click that tool as you can see this is a, a little bit less intuitive. I'm actually dragging around the end point of my arc through the first two points there. Let's try the third tool, Direction at Arc. Now it's like I'm using a lever, I'm cranking it up and down to create my arc shape. And then here we have Start, End, and Radius. And this is similar, I'm using the lever, but it feels a little bit different. What I'm doing is actually controlling the radius at this point of my arc. Now something else I'd like to touch on is this. If I click my basic arc tool, deformable. Degree, point count, start point, tangent, extension. We'll just leave all of that the way it is. So now let's take a look at our control points. Now this has created a deformable arc. In other words, there's more control points here than there would normally be which allows us more control if we'd like to change the shape of it. Again, if I press arc, select my arc, this is the default arc. Three points. Not very deformable. As you can see, it's very rough. Again, the deformable arc added more points, which allowed me to have greater control. To turn off my points, I'm just going to right-click here. So that's a quick rundown of our arc command.